Hi, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. This is just bag one. So if you want to see what I picked up, come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings. Subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do hauls, lifestyle, beauty, food, food clothes, you name it. If you've shopped for it, I have probably hauled it. If that sounds good to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on the notification bell right next to it. That will let you know when I have new content that goes up. Uh, and you never know when that content may have a giveaway in it. Speaking of giveaways, and I don't want this to be a super long, but I need to put my October giveaway for this week egg in. And, and if you are new, every month I do a giveaway. And the way I do that, now I have a whole bunch of giveaways throughout. I have two collabs coming up at the end of this week. I have an advent calendar uh, um, giveaway going on. I have small business Saturday a one going on. And both of those will go throughout out the month of October. The small business one actually will go through November. Uh, um, but I always have a small giveaway every month. And the way it works, each week I pick a random video. Oh, and I give you a mystery word. You use that mystery word in the comment below. Oh, and that will get you entered for that week. The end of the month, so November 1st, what I will do is I will go back at, to those four uh, videos as I will uh, run a random comment picker and get at the four semi-finalists. They go on to the finale where they go into a name wheel. The wheel spins and picks the winner for that month. I've been kind of theming these out each month. This month is hair. All right, so the first thing you'll get is this queen kind of pouch, makeup pouch. pouch. And then and in week one, what I put in here were a shampoo and conditioner from Verb. Herb. This week, in case you don't have time to shampoo and condition, and you're going to need some dry shampoo. And this is from Authentic Beauty Concept. Yep, so that will go in there this week. And the word you need to use this week is... Let's use the word tree for Dollar Tree. Because, you know, we can't totally call it a, a dollar anymore since the prices are going to be going up. So we're going to use the word tree. All right, this goes away. Hey, until next week. Now to the Dollar Tree haul. Emily wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and I was like, okay. I didn't intend to buy everything I bought. And I did need to get some things. Uh, my kids love these mug cakes that you get there. Um, it's just one like a cake, cake that, uh, but it has the mix and the um, icing pouch in here. I think you just add milk and then and you put it in a mug in the microwave Abe, and they love it for a special treat. So usually we find this like rainbow chip cake and then also this hot fudge brownie one. And so I got two of those, one for each kid. And I also thought they might like these um, fudge strip minis, these especially like in their lunches or something. And these are not Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I did pick up a, another thing of the a Snyder's Snaps. Um, just kind of, of um, building up a little collection of these for the holidays because we do use these both in Chuck Smith's and we put like little Hershey Kisses on them and an M&M. So good to have. Um, let's see. Okay. We'll stay on food here for a moment. Um, my, my husband is like the hardest person in the world to shop for. Er, he doesn't really want or need anything. If he needs something, he just goes and gets it. Uh, there are shirts, socks, underwear, all kinds of things from previous holidays that still have tags on them that he has not worn. 
and it frustrates me to no end. He is so difficult to buy for. The one thing he will use is food. Oh, and he loves hot and spicy stuff. So if I find something that I think is like interesting, different, I pick it up for him. So I found the Zaps uh, Voodoo Heat, the New Orleans kettle ch chips. So I think he will like that. Um, I also found these Cheeto Puffs. These are Cheddar Jalapeno Asteroids. And these are just the Flaming Hot ones, so he will have had Flaming Hot Cheetos before, but it, it was something else to throw in there. Or, this one is for Mama. Uh, this is Dark Chocolate Pomegranate. Uh, so that one is for me. I, of course, did get the bag there. there they have a uh, five cent tax in my county on bags. So I'll, I'll, if I am at Dollar Tree and I know I'm, I don't have a reusable bag with me, I usually just buy a gift bag, egg, like a birthday one or a Christmas one, because I know it will get used eventually. A, um, this one just says, all is calm, all is bright. A, um, one of my favorite Christmas songs is Silent Night. Okay, so this will get used this Christmas. A uh, couple of sheet masks. Um, this is the bubble face mask. These are just fun. And, and they're nice. I mean, they work well too, but they're fun too. Um, this is kind of like a gag gift for Andrew. Oh, I found this. It's not Lego specific. He is a huge Lego lover and he, he likes baseball. And so they had this little like, like, you know, oh, brick baseball field. So I thought that would be funny for him, like in his stocking. They had these cute little LED lights. I thought I could use those maybe back here for the holidays. These are in and like little candy canes. I love picking up, up the boxes when they have them. Um, this is Santa's Naughty or Nice list. I love that it looks like a book. Like you could like put this on a shelf oh, and, and it is just so cute. Oh, it's just plain red inside. And then this one is special delivery from the North Pole Express, direct from a Santa's workshop. A little train. Again, just red inside on this one. And but I love these things. They make wrapping so easy. Especially for like extended family or people you might have to mail to. Oh, so much easier. These actually were things that Emily picked up. Um, but I thought I would share them with you because they were fun. I might go back and get some, uh, Amber, Amber from Ambazars DIY and other stuff. If you are watching this, they have some really cool bath bombs. Um, this one is a Smarties. It's, it's, um, strawberry scented. And, and this one is, and it is, you know, like Christmas themed. So. Oh, stockings or otherwise for your little guy. Um, this one is a cherry lime elf one. It's like it's supposed to be like the cherry lime icy a smell. So, oh, Emily got two of those. She is a huge bath bomb person too. All right. Um, they had these little gnome um, uh, ornaments. I just thought they were cute. So, oh, I got. Uh, this guy and then this guy on the skis. And mine didn't have a ton of Christmas stuff out yet. I'm gonna definitely have to be going back uh, probably towards the end of October to see uh, what more they have. They were like just starting really to get stuff out. Um, so this is this is for somebody. Uh, so I can't show it. Oh, these I thought were pretty. They look like a, almost like a mason jar. It just says season of joy. What else? 
This one was another little like shelf sitter and just says Merry Christmas. I thought the Santa on it was cute. I got some foot masks. I think there's another foot mask in here maybe. Oh, there is another set of the little lights, but these are Christmas trees. Hey, it's kind of that same idea of the LED lights. They call these ornaments. I also think they would make like amazing gift tags. Eggs. So this one is just looks like a door in winter. This one. And also, again, they call it an ornament. I think it would look so cute as like a gift tag. Like if you, this one would look amazing. Like if you had like just like white or gold paper on it, this would look amazing with just like plain red paper on a gift. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I had to just get some cards for people, uh, a couple of birthday cards, cards, and this one is a, a Halloween card for my aunt. She is it. This is where she's the one I got a, my love for her, all, all things cat from. <laughs> my aunt was the huge cat lover. My mother what never was. And then this one is, uh, oh, on your 50th anniversary, somebody I work with is um, celebrating their 50th anniversary. And so I did pick that up to send to them. Some pencils. Those are for somebody, though. So I'm not going to show you too closely. Um, these are just, again, like little decorations that you could use like on packaging. These would be cute on wreaths. I got both the black and white buffalo plaid and the red and black buffalo uh, plaid. And then look at these cute little teeny tiny uh, bows. First, I got another bag because I needed two. So this one just has the three wise men carrying the gold frankincense and myrrh. Er, I bought these. This one, uh, this ribbon, and it says like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And this one is just like the holly and ivy. Hey, or the, just the holly, not the ivy. This one is just the holly. Hey, and... I was going to attempt to make bows with these. We will see how that goes. And I thought I'd, I might need this to tie off the middle of the bow. So, oh, and you always need some red curling ribbon. I mean, come on. And, and then I did get one more treat for myself. Yes, I am that person who loves candy corn. I know it is, it's like peeps. It's controversial. You either love it or you hate it. But that with both heaps and candy corn, I love it. So I picked up a little bag for me. All right, that is it. That is everything that I got from the Dollar Tree, except for I did get a couple of sodas, but those are already gone. And um, I like to pick up uh, like a, a nice, you know, thing of Coke or something when I'm there. Or it's really the only time I get it. I will be very upset if they raise the price on that because it is actually almost, if I pick up the same size at like the grocery store, it's almost $2. So I would be really upset if the Dollar Tree raises that one. And, but that is it. That is everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Hey, let me know, what are you finding at yours? I'm really hoping that they're going I was I was surprised at how little Halloween they still had out out and how little Christmas they had in I, they must be in the transition if I go back in like another two weeks it's probably gonna be like all Christmas you're probably not gonna see anything Halloween even though it won't even be Halloween yet all right that was my Dollar Tree haul for today hey Hey, that is all I have for you. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.